Airbus pilot flies Boeing EDF jumbo jet. Today we review the brand new mini Boeing 747RC plane that has four mini EDFs and flight stabilisation. Coming up. Everybody loves the jumbo jet and you could have one of your very own to fly indoors, at the park, at the basketball court, or you could even put it on the shelf as a shelf queen because after all it is the queen of the skies and we're going to have this linked in the description box down below if you're interested along with a discount code. This plane is ready to fly and in the box comes the plane, the radio, the instruction manual which you should, should read. read, a battery and a charge. It also includes a small Phillips head screwdriver to screw things in. I think mean, there's a one screw for the wing to the fuse large of the plane and there's a screw on the back of your radio to keep those batteries in there nice and securely. There's also some spare fans. That's right, this plane has four mini EDFs. That's what I really love about this plane because I cannot stand those 747s or A380s or, or other jets out there that look pretty cool and they, they purposely take photos to, to promote their product with, the, with their propeller blade behind the wing in line with the wings. You can't see it, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Those are so ugly, and you're not gonna find those on the channel. I say that, you might you might in the future, but I think that is so ugly. I don't like it when they have a nice plane and then they have this big, ugly, pushing propeller blade at the back and then these fake sort of um, engines in the front here. So it's really cool to see they actually have these mini EDFs on this uh, mini Boeing 747. This is a three channel aircraft, which means you have control over the elevator, throttle, and you have control in rolling your through the use of differential thrust. I know, I wish I had ailerons, flaps and gear, but that means the cost of the plane is gonna go way, way up. And this plane is a reasonable price, remember it's linked down below with a coupon code to save yourself some money. Finally, this plane does have a gyro to provide some sort of flight stabilization. When enabled, you're not gonna be able to perform any kind of aerobatics, and it is gonna help you when flying in windy or sort of gusty conditions. Not that I would recommend flying this in windy or gusty conditions. And the gyro does work on the elevator and on the differential thrust as well to help uh, maintain your heading. With it disabled, you get more deflection of the elevator, so more control authority, and it means that you can perform arrows. There's no sort of safety feature. It will allow you, there will be no pitch limits. There is pitch limits with it enabled, some kind of pitch limit, but no pitch limits. It's, it's free to do whatever it likes really with it off. So that's it guys. That is basically our mini Boeing 747. I'm super excited to take this out to the park for its maiden flight. Here we are at the airfield with our brand new Boeing 747 and we have an awesome challenge set up today but we do need your guys help. And we'll get to that challenge very soon but first Amber let's get the batteries in this plane, get it up in the air and see how it performs. Put the remote on first, let's plug the battery into this Airbus Boeing Airline 747. Uh, no it's not officially licensed guys. If it's Boeing. It's not I'm going. Not going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. It's already on. We're good to go. Now, look at this, man. This is cool. You got that stabilization. See the elevator at the rear there? There's no ailerons, there's no rudder. But what you do have, I think there's stabilization with the strut. Isn't that? It's pretty good. Time to taxi out onto our runway here. Airline 747, clear to line up runway 02. Clear to line up, airline 747. See how well taxis. It, oh. It's as bumpy as the Hong Kong. Runway. Yeah, it is. <laughs> there we go. We're on the center line there, guys. Airline 747, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, airline 747. Oh, look at that beautiful scale takeoff. And we're up, guys. <laughs> oh, this is a cool wee plane. Look at that. About 50% throttle there, guys. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Nice. So of course it's differential thrust that's giving me the turning. And then you get the elevator at the rear. So we uh, we currently have, we're in basically safe mode. So you can't do any sort of aerobatics. <laughs> Not that these are made for aerobatics. No. You getting it? Yeah. That's awesome. We should be able to do some awesome It's really approaches. cute, yeah. So for the challenge guys, that we need your help. Very soon I'm gonna attempt a few approaches and then I'm going to go for the approach. And then you need to rate my approach out of 10 in the comments. 
Uh-oh. Then Amber is going to do the same thing. She's going to do a few approaches. And then you're going to rate her <laughs> approach out of 10. And then we're going to see who got the best approach for today. Yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. It's going to be challenging because we're going it on the road. Out. And we've got a lot of obstacles on the road, don't we? Yes. Okay. There we go. So I'm out of the so-called safe mode. Definitely more sensitive. Is that? Yep. And you get you get high, it's more like high rates. You get more deflection of the elevator at the rear. A little control. <laughs> oh no! What oh. was that? I oh, almost stole it. I oh. stole. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> lost it. You don't want to bank too sharp. The differential thruster. It does kind of go into a spiral dive. Whoa! That actually went quite quick, eh? That's going pretty cool. Yeah, I'm keeping the speed up now. What percent of the throttle are you I'm on? I'm full throttle right now. It's full throttle pass. Ready? This is probably not the right altitude to do it. Oh, it's a pretty turbulent look at that. Oh, I did a loop! Whoa. I did a loop! So, six minute to ten minute flight time they say on the box. With this, uh, the battery that comes with it. Yeah. Right, Whoa. now we're going to uh, begin the approaches. Take off, it? it does. This approach will be one of my three. Oh, you're a bit high. A little bit high. Oh. <laughs> we'll go around there and, you know, touch and go. There's the first approach. A little bit off center line, just a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, come on, man. That was, too bad. That was good. A little bit off center line. That was <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, there we have three approaches. Put it in the comments down below. What was the best approach? And rate it out of 10. It is now Amber's turn to go. She's going to get a bit of a feel for it, and then she's going to go for her three approaches. New battery in. You're clear for takeoff. Beautiful takeoff. I'm going to try and land it on the grass. You need to practice approach on the grass? Yeah. All right, just take your time. Don't rush it. That looks real cool. No. Going around. I'm still a bit high. Coming around for a second attempt. I'm still really high. And she's gone, Mr. Approach. <laughs> <laughs> Hit, uh, once your wings level, gradually bring the throttle back. Gradually bring the throttle back, let the nose come down, gradually. Looking good, looking good. And then flare, when you're about to touch oh. down. Oh, there we go! I Beautiful to. landing! <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Amber's three approaches. Amber, you are clear for takeoff. Okay. Wish me luck. Beautiful. It is Beautiful takeoff. Looking, it? it is. Once you're over the runway, okay. look at that, you're looking good. A little bit off center line. A little bit. And she's uh, got missed the approach. Okay. Oh, jeepers. Just oh. wish her luck. It's oh. looking good. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Well done. That was awesome. I'm going to taxi it back. Okay. Whoa. She's boosting it. She's not mucking around here. It's about to get airborne. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> it um, doesn't like staying in a straight line for takeoff. <laughs> oh, it looks like you're about to stall. This is full. Live it out a little bit. Live it out. Let it gain some speed. Have you about to stall the thing? Okay, here she's down one. Whoa. Bit of a turbulent flight there, folks. Oh, that was a good one. Not bad. The approach looked a little bit all over the show, but the landing wasn't too bad either. I hope it. Oh, <laughs> not gonna happen. Yeah, not a good idea with the tailwind. Remember, I am a rookie. 
We'll call this Amber's third. Looking good. Oh, oh. well done, a little bit of bounce there, but on the center line, that's probably one of the closest we've had today on the center wow. line. Guys, I am very surprised that I did not crash. I was expecting to because the only plane I really have flown and flown for a while is that little mini, what's it called? The T28, the Asheen one. Yes, that one. And then what's the big one? The T28, the yellow one. Yes, the big yellow <laughs> the one. E I've flown one. a couple of times with Joe's assistance on the trainer, um, like on the trainer yeah, controls. We're not, yeah, we've got two controls, yeah. Um, so I'm pretty proud of myself because this is a lot bigger than the little T28. Um, so it's a level up, isn't it? It's a step up in difficulty. It is a step up, and um, I'm looking forward to getting onto the bigger ones, actually. Hopefully I can become better than you one day. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, she did very well. I'm impressed with your flight today, Amber. Remember, guys, out of my last three approaches and Amber's last three approaches, choose your favorite one, and then give it a rating out of 10. Let us know in the comments down below who do you think did better in those approaches? Was it Amber or was it Joe? I have to say that last one, you were on the center line nicely, but I don't think you just got the, you got the flair right. But my, you know, might have lost you a couple points there. As always, guys, this will be linked in the description box down below if you are interested. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a like anyway. Make sure you're staying safe out there on your RC adventures. I'm Joe. And I'm Amber. We're the RC Kiwis, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> me down.